What is up guys, it's Razor, and welcome to Let's Play Octopath Traveler for the Nintendo Switch. So I recently picked this game up today. This is actually not my Nintendo Switch though, I'm actually using my cousin's Nintendo Switch, because he let me use it to record this. Because I haven't bought a Switch yet, I'm going to get one eventually, but for now I can't really buy one right now. But, I bought Octopath Traveler today gonna be let's playing it it's gonna be a blind let's play obviously I've never played this game before because it just came out today so without further ado let's go ahead and start the reviews for this game have been very positive so I'm actually looking forward to playing this game if you don't already know this is a JRPG old school JRPG as well so it's kind of like the old Final Fantasy games and stuff like that so it's pretty cool I like that I like old school RPGs so, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this game a lot. But let's go ahead and start. Alright, let's go ahead and start the game. I've been looking forward to playing this game since it was announced. And like I said earlier, it's been getting good reviews, so that's good. Square Enix Powered by the Unreal Engine 4 Loading system data So I did uh, Start up the game a little bit But we're going to obviously do a new game I just wanted to test it out Get used to the controls because this is the first time I've used the Nintendo Switch before. So I wanted to get used to the controls. English obviously. You can set the message speed to default or quick. Quick will make it go quicker obviously. Turn the voice volume up all the way. Oops. The rumble off. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, so let's start up a new game. Alright, so when you start up this start up a new game, you have to pick between one of eight characters. And I'll go ahead and go through all the characters now. So we got We got Cyrus. He's a scholar. Uh, his ability as path of action is scrutinize, and his talent is study foe. Your name is Cyrus, and you are a scholar. You teach at the Royal Academy in Atlas Dome. Atlas Dome. And though you have numerous admirers, your only true passion is the pursuit of knowledge. There is so much more I, w I would learn. One day you realize that an invaluable tomb, tome has vanished from the Royal Library, piquing your insatiable curiosity. Alright, next up we got Ophelia. Her path action's guide and her talent is summon. Your name is Ophelia and you are a cleric. You hail from Snowswept Frostlands, where you dutifully serve the Order of the Flame under your adoptive father, the Archbishop. As your adopted sister and best friend prepares to embark on a perilous pilgrimage, you stand over, you stand ever at her side. But unbeknownst to the both of you, events are about to take a tragic turn. Huh. Okay, so next we got Haunt. I'm not even sure to be honest. Uh, path action provoke. I'm not sure about how you pronounce that or not, but provoke. And then uh, talents capture. Your name is. Like I said, I don't know how to pronounce that properly. I'm Haunt. I'm not sure. 
Anyway, and you're a hunter. One of the last descendants of an ancient clan that call that calls the deep forest home. Your prowess with the bow is unmatched. Your master left home one year ago, summoned to hunt a dread beast. And you predict the village while awaiting his return. Then one day, the return of an old friend gives you cause for concern, and you strike out on a journey of your own. And now this is Therion, who I'm gonna, who I'm gonna pick. But we're gonna go over everybody else's bio. I'm gonna go after, over his bio last because I'm gonna be picking him. Next up, we got Alfin. Uh, his path factions inquire, and his towns concoct. Your name is Alfin, and you are an apothecary. Uh, you treat the wounded and sick in a small village amid the babbling brooks uh, in the of the riverlands. Stricken ill as a child, you were saved by a traveler who asked for nothing in return, inspiring you to follow in his footsteps. Though hesitant to leave the only home you've known, your best friend convinces you to follow your dream wherever it may lead. Okay, next up we got Primrose. Her path action is Allure. And her talent Summon. Just like, um... What was that? Uh, Ophelia. Your name is Primrose and you're a dancer. You ply your trade in the pleasure district of Sunshade. A town forever shrouded in darkness. In truth, you are a highborn daughter of the once proud house. As a heart, an identity you conceal from all. Three men bearing the mark of the snow, or the mark of the crow, they they took my father from me, but you will have your revenge. Next up we got Albrick. Uh, his path action's challenge and his talents bolster defense. Your name is Albrick, and you are a warrior. Once a proud knight, you lost both king and kingdom in a bloody coup. Today you serve as a master of at arms for a remote mountain village. To what? To what? And do I, I swing my sword? The question tortured you right after restless night. Then one day you overhear a name from your past. Giving you a new purpose. Next up we got Tressa. A path, path action purchase. And talent eye for money. Your name is Tressa and you are a merchant. You stock the shelves at your parents shop in your sleepy seaside hometown. Yet you often find yourself gazing at, out at sea. Longing for something more. What lies beyond the horizon? You thought you'd never know the answer. Then one day, an unfamiliar vessel weighs anchor at the docks, changing your life forever. Alright, that's everybody except for Therion. Okay, so Therion, who I'm going to be. Path Action Steel, Talent Picklock. Your name is Therion and you're a thief. While your past is a guarded secret, your exploits are known far and wide. Uh, mere whispers of your extravagant heist strike fear in the hearts of the wealthy. Uh, drifting into the clifflands, one day you hear a rumor of great riches to be had. You set your sights on a mansion said to be impregnable. Only to find what you never expected. Begin your adventure as Therion. Yes. The usual. All right, so 
I might be talking during voice acting cutscenes, so I'm just going to mute my mic and you can watch this cutscene or whatever. As you like it. I heard that thief's at it again. Really? What's he done this time? Lifted everything off a merchant, leaving the girls with him. Guess he didn't get his bill at that fancy manor the other day. Still can't believe he made it past all those calls. I'm sure the more the better for him. They were more like decorations than actual guards. Ain't no point swooning over someone else's work. Someday we'll make it as big as that thief, and then we'll be the talk of the town. <laughs> Yeah, you said it, partner. Partners in crime, huh? Alright, so we got a little dialogue here. It was ten years ago. Our paths crossed in a particular dingy gal. Um, I remember that meeting well. After all, it had quite the influence on my career. Okay, so I guess he's about to get locked up or something. Yep. Oi. Get in. And? Not even a please. Calling him a whelp. <laughs> Ooh. Getting attacked there. One violent guard. Huh? I guess so. Yeah, who are you? A no good tea leaf who got caught in the act just like yourself, huh? Oh really? Wow. Savage. Well, they don't have to go easy on you. You're prisoners, after all. Probably a good idea. What's he doing? You gonna try to get out? All right, so he's gonna try to unlock unlock the door, I guess. Therian actually had the key. Stole the key from the guard. <laughs> and they're free. Therion. One thing I noticed, I like the art style of this game. Partner. It looks very nice. Alright, so there'll probably be more talking dialogue again, so I'll just mute my mic again. Ah, sweet memories. Fill it up.
Here you go. Beg pardon. Would you happen to be after them, Ravis's treasure? If you are, I suggest you think again. Heard another would-be fortune hunter was tossed in the dungeons yesterday. So what's the count now? The score? Maybe more? But House Ravis ain't known to be kind to those who covet their wealth. Still, poor thieves can't help but flock to that manor like moths to a flame. Suppose it's all those rumors of their riches that keep them coming. Some say it's enough to buy up the whole town and then some. Just one town? What about the neighbor? Can't say for sure. No one's ever seen the treasure. Even that master thief they keep talking about would have more than his hands full. A perfect tale for the tavern. Look, when you've been in the business long enough, you can tell things at a glance. You're a smart and skilled young man. Probably have a long career ahead of you. That's why I'll say it once more. Stay away from that manor. Thanks for the advice. Next time, I'll have a tale of my own. Alright, so we gotta go to Ravis's Man Manor. So they say Ravis's Manor is up at the top of the mountain where only the riches of the rich live. Okay. So we get the, uh, the radar. So I guess it's like the mini map. Use the radar in the bottom right to check the area and find your heading. So that green little symbol continues the story here. The next symbol below that is a side story starting point. The symbol below that, like a feather, is a save point. So we'll definitely be taking advantage of save points in this game. Below that, the exclamation point, a hidden item. And then other exiting exits to air, neighboring area. And you can also turn the radar off with the R button. So we can finally move around. Hold the B button down to run. And obviously use the analog stick to move around. Um, you can enter areas by pressing the A button. I don't, is there anything in here? Don't look like there's anything in here. Nope, nothing in there. Let's head down here to the armor. Alright, so you can buy stuff. Um, and I'll go over the inventory and all that stuff here in a minute. Here we can buy Iron Sword, Feather Saber, Broadsword, Iron Dagger, Arcane Knife. And then Arcane Hatchet. You can buy Bow, Round Shield, Sturdy Shield, Feather Hat, Black Cap. Bronze vest, black attire, and we got accessories as well. Unearring earring and enlightening, enlightening earring. That feather saber though, occasionally puts the target to sleep. It's actually very powerful. I think we'll just buy the iron sh iron sword for now, because the feather saber is very expensive. Yeah, we could equip it. Okay. Um. I guess we'll buy a round shield. Seems kind of odd that a thief can equip a shield. Because usually in like uh, Final Fantasy games, well I guess some Final Fantasy games you can equip a shield with a thief, but 
Some you can't. I know they can't equip like heavy shields and stuff. But we'll go ahead and buy this. And I guess I'll buy, uh, since we don't have any accessories, I'll buy one of these. Well, ten, 10 to evasion, I'll take that as well. So I don't know if that's wise to buy that stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Go ahead and equip our stuff. So we got plus 10 to accuracy and evasion. That's pretty good. But like I said, I don't know what's good or what's bad in this game because obviously this is the first time playing it. Anyway, we got we click the world map and it brings up fast travel. Uh, transport yourself instantly to any town you visited before. Select the place you want to go with the cursor, then press the A button. You only fast travel to cities, towns, and villages. Fast travel may be unavailable at times, depending on your progress in the game. So we don't need to worry about that right now, though. Okay, the journal, I guess, is where you keep a track of the storyline. Uh, pause the video if you need to read it. And in inventory, we got healing grapes, it stores HP. In spiriting rum, restores SP. All of a life, which is basically, I guess, Phoenix down. And I guess healing grapes, basically potions. And then the rums, basically ethers. And then obviously our equipment and all that stuff that we bought earlier. Okay, status, you can check your job act your path actions and talents down at the bottom. It's obviously got your stats and all that as well. And then you get uh, job points in this game, I guess. Um, at, down at the bottom, path action steal. Steal an item from belongings of a townsperson. Failing your reputation in town will suffer. And then this town is open and tightly locked. Purple treasure chest you encounter in your travels. And then our miscellaneous, you can check your settings and tutorials. I'm not going to go over the tutorials. We don't need no sneaking tutorials around here. What's up? How's it going? You want something from me? No, not really. What's up? Folk on the middle level are a reasonable lot. At least they don't look down on their noses at us. Like those snobby nobles. <laughs> so I guess this place is divided into different classes. I guess there's like a noble class, which are like the rich people. And there's probably like a poor, bunch of poor people and all that. The standard JRPG towns and all that stuff. And this town is called Boulderlands. Alright, but this is the first save point of the game. So. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next part. I'll probably post one of these a day. So. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And later.